Hello everyone. Guys, today we will see how you can access ASA firewall through console port, through console cable. See how many options you have to access this box, to access this ASA firewall. You can access it through Telnet and SSH or you can access it through console cable. So guys, if this firewall is new, there is no any configuration. Let's say IP address is not configured. This router, this ASA firewall is not live. So you have only one option to access it. That is through console cable. If this ASA firewall is live in your network and you have IP reachability, then you can access it through Telnet as well. But till now there is no IP configuration, guys. Not nothing is there in the configuration. So I have only one option to access it through console cable. So first of all, I need to power it on. Right. First of all, I need to provide power to this device. So you can see I have some ports here on this ASA firewall. I have one USB port here. Right. And guys, this is Cisco ASA 5505 series firewall. Then behind ASA firewall, I have some ports like you can see console port. I have one console port, this port. So I can uh, access this uh, ASA firewall through this console port. So I need one console cable, so I have one console cable as well. Here you can see one side with USB port and one side with RJ45. Done. Then guys, here I have some PoE ports, power over Ethernet ports to connect other networking devices. And this is power port. So I need one power adapter. So you can see I have one power adapter. First of all, give power to this ASA firewall. So let me connect it with my board and now I am going to put one side of this power cable to ASA firewall on the power port right so once I will insert this cable you can see light this LED has blink so that means this ASA firewall have power now now to access this ASA firewall I need to connect it with my laptop so I need one console cable and there is no IP configuration I cannot access it through telnet so first of all I have to take console access after that I can configure IP and then I can enable telnet and SSH after that I can access it through SSH but as this firewall is new I don't have any configuration so I'm going to connect it through console cable so guys I will insert one end of the console cable on ASA firewall on the console port so this is my console port I am going to insert it over here done now I am going to connect other end to my laptop to USB port let's suppose this port now to access this firewall I need one software on my laptop right and I have two software I have secure CRT also and I have putty also so I am going to use putty here to access this ASA firewall again guys to access this firewall through putty you have to find port number so let me open device manager and let me check port number so go to device manager and in the device manager see the port port number is com port 4 right so port number is 4 now i am going to open putty here putty and in the putty let me select serial port number 4 and open now you can see i have access of ASA firewall here yeah, I can run enable command now so run let's say interface also interface so interface IP brief I can run this command you can see and security level then IP address like this now I can enable telnet I can configure this firewall I can configure policies over here whatever configuration right you want to configure you can now configure on this machine through this console cable right and after that guys we can implement it in the rack so in the same way you can access cisco routers cisco switches or any networking devices with the help of console cable okay so guys in this video we seen how we can access networking devices through console cable by using software putty on window operating system if this video is helpful for you please hit on like button if you are not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel guys We'll meet soon in next video. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye.